halfway around the O2, trying to take off his clothes, throwing his shoes, throwing his socks, pulling Anna's hair, hitting us both, um, pulling off Anna's glasses, ripping off his own clothes. He had his pants off at one point in the middle of the O2, threw his camera off of the balcony, and as you can see, it is just shattered. Folks and welcome to day two of our summer adventure down here in London. We have had the most relaxed and chilled out morning we've had for quite some time. It's 11.30. We've not left this apartment yet. We've just been mooching about, not really doing a lot. We've all had nice baths and showers. I was able to shower at the same time Andy had a bath without having to go to prison for it because we have two bathrooms which is a luxury we don't have at home Andy's been watching lots of challenge on TV I've sat and read some comics Anna's had a little bit of a play on her switch we've even cleaned up the kitchen a little bit and had the dishwasher running but we can't just sit in here all day we were advised by several people to avoid rush hour on the tube so that was one of the reasons for the late start we had a little bit of a taste of rush hour last night didn't we and we weren't fans so we are now getting ourselves ready to head out into the world andy what is our plan for today oh, and what else are we going to do to look at the display plan i see we do have slightly more of a plan than just go to the O2 and look at the digital displays, which is what he wants to do. The plan as it stands right now is O2, then jump on the tube over to Green Park, where we'll show Andy Buckingham Palace. And then from there, we're going to give him the choice of just down the road a little bit to Piccadilly Circus so he can look at more digital displays, which are a thing he's really into all of a sudden. Or over a little bit to St Paul's Cathedral. If we don't get St Paul's in today, then we'll perhaps do that on Saturday, because Saturday we're planning on going on the Thames Clipper, the boat ride down into central London, and we could potentially do St Paul's while we're down there for that. But definitely O2, definitely Buckingham Palace, and then we'll see where the rest of the day takes us. Are you excited, Andy? I don't know where it is, Andrew. Are you excited? Is there O2? Oh, there he is. Oh, you found What's the matter with you? Oh, he's very animated today. Oh, here. <laughs> You're excited, aren't you? Let's go. Could I look any more like a tourist? No I was all ready to leave, and then Anna realised she hadn't charged her phone, so we're actually leaving in 20 minutes. Another episode of Blockbusters it is. <laughs> well, another hour passed. We had lunch in the end. Saves us having to eat out, to which is a good to thing. Let's go to get Andy's video. Yes. Um, we are now heading there to the O2. The weather out here is infinitely better than it was yesterday. This is a nice summer's day. Well, we have a slight problem, which is probably why you can't hear me or see me very well. We got to the door of the O2 and they stopped us and said we weren't allowed to have, not only not allowed to have the cameras on as we go in, but all cameras have to be put away in bags to go through the security section, which obviously Andy doesn't understand and is not going to cooperate with. So I've put mine away, which is why you're on my phone, which is why this wind sounds awful. I wouldn't make an exception anyway, security. So, um, Andy's now deciding whether he wants to put the camera away and still go in or whether we're just going to go back to the flat and call it a day. It's only on the security check that he's not allowed it out, but he just doesn't understand it. He's ran around the whole area. Well, we've made it in on my phone still because inexplicably, as per security, it's fine to use your phone for filming and photography. You just can't use actual cameras. We're uh, taking a little bit of a risk because we've got Andy's back out, but mine is still away. This is all he wants to do. Yeah, all he wants to do is be in here and film the digital displays, of which there are loads in here. So, fingers crossed, we get enough film before we have to leave again. This will be him for hours if we let him. He's now found a big one, but he knows there are bigger ones in here too. Well, despite the security guard at the door telling us he only was he only had to put it away to come through security, we've got halfway round, and he's been told he's not allowed to film at all. So I guess he's going to lie there for a while. There's no solution. There's no way around it. 
we've got his phone with us, but he doesn't want to use it, he wants to use his camera. Doesn't understand why he can't when he has done in the past and was told 10 minutes ago that he could. About two hours after we, uh, after we left, we're heading back. That didn't exactly go to plan. I'll, um, I'll bring you up to speed when I can hide and bring you up to speed. Well, that has been a nightmare morning or early afternoon trip to the O2. As you saw when we first got there, it didn't start off well and we were stopped. Bear in mind, we've been to the O2 lots of times before and taken cameras in and it's never been an issue. Um, they've asked me not to film out the front of the O2 before, which they seem to have no problem with today, but we filmed inside the O2 lots of times in the past, but it seems they've had a rather strict change of policy, which is fine. We get that it's completely within their rights to let us film or not let us film, but there was no signage or anything. There was no way for us to prepare for it. It was just a, like a surprise new rule when we arrived. So it was a struggle to get in because we had to have cameras away in bags. Wasn't allowed to carry them and not film. The weird thing is there's so many people in there filming on their phones and the security guard even said, if you want to film, just use your phone. Well, if you can film on your phone, so filming in here is not the problem. Why is it a problem to have a camera in here? I don't mind putting mine away, but Andy only wanted to go there and film the digital displays, and they basically made it very clear that he wasn't able to. So um, we had to put the camera away for the security check. Um, but the guy, the guy there did say we just had to put them away for the security check. So we eventually calmed him down, got him in on the basis that he just had to put it away for a minute and he could then get it out again. We then walked halfway around the thing. He did lots of filming in there. We were probably in there a good 15, 20 minutes. And then security guards came over again and said he wasn't allowed to film. And at this point, we were the furthest we could possibly be from the exit. So there was no way to make a quick getaway because of the pandemic and social distancing stuff. They were operating a one-way system system and a one in one one entrance one exit system so we were as far from the exit as we could get and he just couldn't cope with the idea of not being able to film so we spent the next half an hour probably with him halfway down a set of stairs halfway around the o2 trying to take off his clothes throwing his shoes throwing his socks pulling Anna's hair hitting us both um, pulling off Anna's glasses ripping off his own clothes he had his pants off at one point in the middle of the O2 um, at one point he uh, threw his camera off of the balcony and as you can see it is just shattered it's absolutely mangled up and shattered so his camera is done that's broken no more camera and uh, eventually a security guard came over again and because there was no security guards while all that was going on they told him to stop filming and then just left left us to deal with the fallout from it eventually after about half an hour of being on these stairs which how, how did they how did they find us filming so quick but didn't notice him having a meltdown on the stairs screaming and throwing projectiles for half an hour but eventually someone came over um, we managed to lead him into the baby changing room where he took the rest of his clothes off. They got him a foil blanket out of a first aid kit and he, we were probably in there a good 45 minutes or so with him just not able to cope at all with the situation. Um, he, we, we gave him his camera back in there to show him that he'd broken it because he was asking for the camera and he just held it into the wall in there and shattered it up some more. So his camera is completely finished and then we eventually managed to get him out on the basis that I'm gonna give him my old GoPro. So I'm charging my old GoPro. I know this is bribing and it's, it's almost as if it's rewarding bad behavior, but it's not really bad behavior, it's a meltdown. He's not deliberately decided to do that. He's had the rules changed on him like that. He's, he, last time he went to the O2 in February, he was allowed to film in there and he wanted to come back to film the digital displays in there again. That was like the big motivation behind this trip. So to have that pulled out from under him the way it was, it, um, it's upset him a lot. So it's not that it's bad behavior. It's he's had a meltdown and the only way to get him out of that building and to get him to put his clothes back on was I promised him my old GoPro. So he has a replacement camera for the rest of this trip because the rest of the trip is a total write off. If, uh, if he doesn't have a camera, he just won't do anything. So he's got my old GoPro, which is charging up now. And we've agreed to take him on the Jubilee line again later on. So he wants to ride it all the way to the end, all the way to Stanmore and then just come back, which I'm not interested in doing. I will throw up if I'm on the tube that amount of time in this heat, but 
we'll see what we can persuade him to. He certainly doesn't want to go anywhere. He just wants to ride the tube and come back. He doesn't want to get off the tube. So the other plans we had for today, Buckingham Palace, Piccadilly Circus, which he'd love because it's full of digital displays that he can film. Not interested. I've just reminded him that we've got tickets to go to Legoland tomorrow and he just screamed, no Legoland. So I think that's £105 down the drain. I only booked those tickets last night because we were waiting to pick the day, day that looked like it had the best weather. It looked like it was going to be Friday, so we booked the tickets, sat here last night after I got back with the charger, booked those tickets, and it already looks like that trip is off. And we don't know what's going to happen for the rest of the week now. We, there's every chance we might be going home today. We might be going home early, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. We might have fun for the rest of the trip and it might all be fine and we might go to Legoland and we might everything might be fine once he's fully calmed down and once he's got a new camera and everything but it was a uh, an absolute nightmare and he's so big and strong now that long gone are the days where we can just stop him taking his clothes off or just remove him from a situation we can't pick him up and carry him anymore we can't can't restrain him and stop him pulling off his clothes if as a 16 year old boy who's bigger than bigger and stronger than his mum and he's got too many arms and legs for, and I've never had any safe handling training um, so I don't know how to safely restrain him so I always have to hold back because I'm worried about hurting him and um, yeah if he decides he wants to take off his clothes and throw a camera across a shopping centre there's pretty much nothing we can do to stop him doing that now and the worry is I think he's figured that out and although we're not rewarding him for bad behaviour, because it wasn't bad behaviour, we are kind of reinforcing that he has kind of not had any consequences to it because he's getting a new camera immediately and we're going to go and ride on the tube, which he wants to do as well. Which is probably not the right thing to do, but how can you punish someone for a meltdown when it's not his fault? But then if you don't show consequences, how does he learn not to do it again? But can he even learn not to do it again when it's not his fault in the first place? It's, oh, our heads are gone today. I'm hoping it's nearly three o'clock. I'm hoping that we just don't leave and just go to bed. Do you have anything to add? I've basically told the whole story. Um, Wasn't fun, was it? There's no controlling in these days, is there? No. So he pulled your hair out, didn't he? And was hitting you and trying to pull your top off as well. Thankfully I have two tops on. But... Mm. I would imagine you're covered in bruises though. It's not been a nice start to this holiday. Well, it's never going to be, was it? It wasn't Disney. Everything's just changed. and. Yeah, but... I thought we were doing the right thing by giving him the other thing that he'd been asking for for ages, but maybe not. Maybe we should have just stayed at home and taken our medicine there. Um, Legoland, you can change bookings, but you won't get a refund. Does he want to go ever? I'm saying that yeah. we've got a year to use them, but you have to fill in a form. But, um, I guess we just... What time do they close today? Seven. I guess we give it a few hours and ask him again if he wants to go tomorrow. He might do once he's got a camera. I don't want to go out again today. Okay. My hair, my hair. No, hurts. I know, I know. That's what I just said. Hopefully he'll just settle down and that'll be it for today now. I mean, then... watch challenge, I don't care. I just don't want to go out tonight. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's got really. This has not been a nice holiday so far. <laughs> Much later in the day. And the, you're feeling better now, aren't you, Andy? Yeah. And we've just had delivered on Uber Eats <laughs> your first ever delivery McDonald's. Pass. There you go, that whole bag is your food. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> that is the quickest I've ever known delivery food. Come on, I know it's McDonald's, so it's already cooked and ready, but me and Anna have ordered something off of Uber Eats as well. And I got the alert saying his driver was outside before we'd finished putting our order through. So, no, we're not having McDonald's, but you're happy with that, aren't you? Yeah, he's happy. We have a mat on the floor for mess. Right, this is Andy's GoPro. Yeah. Listen, you do not throw it. Yeah. You are nice with it. 
careful. You're yeah. careful with it. Yeah. You will not be getting another one. This is your last camera. Yeah. Yeah? Thank you. And you can use that at Legoland tomorrow. Don't mess around with the settings or it won't work. Jimmy's showing you how to use it. Correct answer is. Apparently not. Turn it on. Is it working? Jimmy, to show you how to use it. Here we are. Is it filming? Mm. Okay, now you have to be careful with it. Well, fingers crossed. That solves the problem. For now. My word, has this been a day. We got home from the O2 probably about eight hours ago now, and we have just been in there, slowly but surely calming him down. He is finally calm. He's just been chilling out watching Challenge, but he has now agreed that we'll go on the tube on Saturday, so two days time. Tomorrow we are going to Legoland as planned. He's now up for that again. He's had a McDonald's, he's had toast, he's had waffles and fish fingers and whatever else. He has eaten like nobody's business, but I think we are all good again now and fingers crossed the rest of the holiday can now go as planned if you have enjoyed this video please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us subscribe to the channel for more of our london trip plus all the other vlogs thank you very much for watching